ASM here. In the last episode, we dipped our toes in the world of automation using Make and Zapier. Today, we're going to dive deep into the business side of things. Are you excited to chart your course to 100,000 revenue in 12 months using automations and AI? Then sit tight, click subscribe, and ring that bell to stay updated on our exciting journey. Ah, uh, my day just got a whole hell of a lot better. Your blueprint to making a cool 100,000 in 12 months using automation is here. And remember, this is not a one size fits all get rich quick plan. It's all about delivering real value and creating a sustainable, ethical business model. Introducing the Maya framework, a comprehensive approach divided into three pillars. Learn, solve, and increase. Pillar one, learn. It's all about mastering AI-related hard skills, from chatbots to APIs, databases to local tools. The more you know, the more value you can bring to the business. Pillar two, solve. This is where you identify and alleviate pain points in a business, offer unique AI solutions to automate and optimize these processes, and making the business more efficient and profitable. And pillar three, increase. Lastly, elevate your value by continuously improving and expanding your solutions. Show the longevity of your services with the maintenance, updates, and continuous optimization. Armed with the Maya framework, here is your action plan. This is where Maya framework excels drastically. According to the major marketing research firms, digital marketing companies such as SMMA, AAA, and all others in the marketing agency space tend to have a churn up to 50% per year. What that means? Imagine you were hustling and doing lots and lots and lots and lots of outreach. In 12 months, you managed to get four clients. Well, if your churn is 50%, it means that by the end of the year, you will have two clients left. You won't be able to grow unless you continue to hustle and spend more time on outreach and selling people than actually providing good services. Maya Framework focuses on retention. That's where we're different than all other models out there. We focus on retention because retention is where the riches are. Our churn is less than 10% a year. If you do have that, it means every new client you have stays with you for a very long time. I haven't seen many companies, many agencies doing that. This time of frameworks are used in businesses like Google and Facebook and all the big boys. How I know? Well, I went to the business school and then decided to do this as a side hustle, just for fun. What I hate about this space is how much of hype and selling courses going around without actual valuable information provided, okay? Let me show you what Maya does and what it consists of. Because I believe once you are in with the Maya framework, you can figure out easily what you are missing in your tool set to provide proper services when it's time to actually approach businesses and how you could do that efficiently. Now let's take a look at how the content on this channel has been tailored to help fulfill this exact three pillars of the Maya framework that I use in my own business. But first, if you are still are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated on our exciting journey to $100,000. Pillar one. Learn detailed step-by-step -step guide on creating an AI chatbot for business using BotPress, Langchain, Flowwise, and serve as an excellent resource for learning AI hard skills. The Next.js AI SDK video that uses Pinecone to stream uh, answers to Superbase provides you with in-depth technical knowledge in the JavaScript SDK. Pillar two, solve. Videos like investigated 10 AI chatbots, the superior three for cost and features, is one of them. Another one is Zapier versus Make comparison by integrating BotPress chatbot with both services. Offer insights into solving business challenges by helping you choose the most suitable AI tools for your needs or your needs of your clients. And pillar number three, increase. And today is the video that we're gonna commit to the pillar three. And today, 
is increase. I will be sharing with you not only a framework but also a very detailed blueprint of each pillar that will allow you to get to a hundred thousand dollars within 12 months. Pillar one, understand the value behind prompting, uh, different IPA configurations because you could have completions, chat configuration on all others. Then you also need to understand cost management. Okay, so because every API, every AI model that you're using or every automation that you're using comes at a cost. For instance, if for certain automation you're using $100 on Zapier to run the automation, on Make you will only use $20. So this is basically this, all this automations, they don't come, it's not a fairy dust, okay? It is expensive. Using AI models is expensive, depending how you deploy them, how you're using them, how many requests are going from your model to the automation, to the AI, API. A lot of these things have to be accounted. You're not gonna know how much to charge your client unless you understand the internals of every model you use. And it's important. And that's why I, I say you have to start with AI ba basics by learning prompting, configurations, right? So you're gonna basically learn this, prompting. We There are a lot of videos on YouTube that will teach you how to do prompting. You have AI configurations. So this is a really awesome place where you could ch test every little, every different model you have. So you can test all these things and compare what, how one model is uh, answering versus another, okay? So as you see, depending on which model you use, this is open AI models, this is hugging face models, the answers are completely different. So which one actually works for your client? It depends on the services, it depends how it works, it depends how you're creating the prompt. Come over here, SDK versus AI. Um, before you even start a project, you could compare them back to back to back to back. So what is automation? When you have very strict logic, for instance, if something shows up in my email, send me a text message. Or if something, um, if I get an order on through my uh, Google Ads, right? Send me a text message so I could start fulfilling my uh, order and also send a message to my printer so it prints out the label for this order. So all of this very straightforward um, logics don't need no AI, it's just straight up automations. So how do you achieve that? You do, you use uh, tools like make.com or uh, Zapier. Also, you know, you wanna make sure how to connect it to databases, some sort of uh, knowledge you need to basically how to store your data. This is basically, the, these tools are connectors. Sometimes, uh, certain APIs are really easy to use, so instead of this, you could just use API. Once you understand, once you understand the AI basics and automation, you could move on to the third part of pillar number one, is AI app integration and creation. Okay, so here you could create a chatbot for a company. You could create a Q&A knowledge base for a company. Why we focus on these use cases is because some some form of this use cases will be part of your service in the future so as you're learning and creating this mini projects for yourself or for your friends or for your family business you are becoming an actual automation engineer okay you gotta have merit right you gotta have knowledge and you have to know what you're talking about and you have to be good the most frequent problem with businesses not being able to keep the clients, whether it's a marketing agency or car repair shop or a doctor or a dentist or fitness, uh, fitness gym or fitness instructor, it's not delivering value, not delivering results. All one you understand how to store information, how to query information, you understand the whole system, system within then you could focus on creating more advanced systems where you can focus on um, learning more about other LLMs as I showed you before in this example, right? So you basically could have one prompt, but you could test different systems and see how prompt engineering is different depending on 
which system you're using and also you could do you could create fine tuning certain different projects where you're not actually tapping into knowledge base but you're completely changing the actual model that's being queried by your application clients a lot of times not only pay you for knowledge but they also pay you for experience they want to hear you say i've done it 100 times versus i think in theory it should work if you're going to a heart surgeon you don't want them to say in theory i think i know how to fix your heart you probably want to hear i've done it 100 times and i know exactly what to do with your heart right on this channel we committed to providing a very valuable information we're not holding anything back and um, i'm basically giving you the full blueprint uh, this is a pillar one but we are on the way to pillar two i believe we covered a lot of very interesting topics in the pillar one if you're able to re uh, recreate each and every one of the videos i have on my channel without following my step-by-step -step guides you should be fairly close to basically mastering this part or at least in have enough um, knowledge and experience to move on to the next one okay at ai sim we are committed to adding tangible lasting value every step of the way it's just it's not just about learning how to code or how to run a business it's about being value generators problem solvers and trailblazers so keep tuning in keep learning keep solving keep increasing and let's continue to push the boundaries of AI and business together.